G'day guys, Tom here from Different Drop, and uh, we're, we're discussing a bit of a dirty topic uh, in wine today with, with Michael and Susan from Yelland and Paps, uh, and that is dirty wine, I guess. So cloudy, unfined, unfiltered wine. Uh, these guys do it fantastically well. Um, this is their Roussan, which is made in that style. And I guess, Susan, why why dirty? Why would you make wines sort of unfined, unfiltered for those that don't really um, have a lot of experience with the style? Basically, this actually comes down to 2012, looking at the barrel of our Devote Roussan before it got um, fined. Um, and we looked at it and it was just dirty. And we just it was just amazing before we filtered it. And we just sat there and thought, oh, this looks even better than when it's filtered. And we think it's really great when it's filtered, but it looks better. And we thought, do people going to get this? So... We kind of um, did 30 dozen in 2012. We actually didn't think that people would actually get, you know, get anything behind it because basically it was just unfiltered. Um, you can see the colour as well, guys. It's yeah, cloudy, uh, not your typical sort of look, but, but um, it's just fantastic wine. It's, like, it's so textural. Much going on. It's yeah. textural, it's layered, it's interesting, um, and it has this little tutti-frutti kind of um, uh, flavour to it, and it's just beautiful but you know what we put it into 30 dozen and people went absolutely crazy over it. we yeah. didn't think that they, they'd get it but um they get what <coughs> they got what we thought in the winery so yeah i think people get that first impression going oh it's, it's dirty it's it's not appealing but then i mean we've told a lot of people cover your eyes up have a look have a taste of it and when they taste it it's like they get the texture they get the the mouth feel of it and as we're saying like with the leaves and they're giving that little tutti fruity sort of ness to it that we really find appealing, and I think a lot of other people do too. Yeah, I love it. I think texture's the key word. It's yeah, all right it's not with about. Raised fish, it's just yeah. amazing with wolf fish, I think we found the most. So. Yeah. They just get the extra almost kind of grip and a bit of chewiness and, and texture and uh, complexity. And I, I love them. Again, they're not the sort of wines that, well, they look different. They do look different, but uh, when you taste them and you take in the whole picture, they're just fantastic wines and, and really exciting. So. Um, yeah, if you're looking for, I guess, dirty wines, guys, um, Yellow and Pat's a great place to start with the Roussan, the Grenache, a whole bunch of other things. Um, but, you know, it's a trend that's becoming more prevalent in Australian wine, and I think it's really exciting. Yeah, and for us, I mean, we've gone to the extreme here. We actually leased her these barrels the day before bottling. So yeah. we wanted to get all this chunkiness and lees in there. And sometimes on the bottle, you actually, the last pour, you're actually getting some chunks out. So, um, yeah, for us, and there are other wines that are unfiltered and fine, but they are clean looking. Yeah. So. We've just uh, gone dirty, extreme. Dirtier the better. Yeah, yeah dirtier exactly. the better. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Cheers. No Cheers. Cheers.